Hi guys, Danny's Trends here. I'm a full-time reseller on the app Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, ThreadUp, and Kitizen. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in seeing any reseller-related content. Um, you could go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications to be notified of any of my new posts. So, yeah. Hi guys, Danny Strens here, and I am back with another YouTube video for you. And of course, this video is going to be a haul. So I have a haul of 20 items that I just wanted to jump on here real quick and show you. Um, they are from two different stores, two different thrift stores. So now I have a total of 20 items just because two pieces um, are two pieces I'm counting together as one piece. So I'll show you that later on in the video. So um, the total cost of goods, the total amount was $115.39. However, when I divide that by 20 items, it gives me an average cost of goods of $5.77 per item. And I will show you what item in this haul was um, the most expensive that I, but it was so worth it because it's something I've always wanted and I'm just so happy to finally have found it. So let's jump into this haul. Okay, so the first thing is this L.L. Bean men's sweater. So it's just a basic long sleeve um, and it has the button neck line here. So a mock neck and it also has this little detailing here on the chest. Um, and this is what the tag looks like. And so I picked this up because it's a really nice light blue faded blue color and it's not because it's a worn sweater or like it's really really worn out it's just because of the simple fact that that's the type of color it is and i've never really seen this color on a sweater before so that's why i picked it up i also like that it's long sleeve and then i took a look and of course it is vintage and the giveaway that is vintage is because of this little tag right here. It's basically typewriter letters. So it's vintage, but I did find that out after picking it up. And I was so happy because I do love selling vintage pieces in my closets. Okay, so this is LL Bean again, and it is a size medium. It's a really nice dapper men's sweater. I would really like to see a man would look really good in that. So the next top is by Leaf. And I got this top because I really love how lightweight it is. I also like the pattern on it. I like the fact that it has plaid here, but it also has like these sheer insets here on the front and on the sides. So I thought that was really neat. And I thought this would be a really good career piece to wear to the office, to wear to school, to classes, or even just to wear um, on Zoom if you are working at home at the moment. And again, that is what the tag looks like. Let's see. There you go. And it's a size medium. Okay, so the next piece is this splendid top. I didn't realize until after picking it up though that it was a girl's top, a girl's jacket, but I don't mind because I do love selling kids clothes as well. I am on the Kitizen app. So this is just a basic long sleeve, full zipper kids denim jacket. And it is, um, it is denim, but it's like a soft denim. So it doesn't feel like how a jeans, for example, would feel. It's like a soft type of, almost like a sweater feel to it. 
so i thought this was really nice and i really like how it has the lighter denim detail here on the top i love that it's an asymmetrical zipper it also has pockets on the front and the collars here so i think this looks really cute and trendy for a little girl and it is a size 14 and that's what the tag looks like Okay, and the next piece is this Metropolitan Wool Sweater. So I picked this up because it's a striped sweater and I love how it how it looks like an old type of Cosby sweaters because I know those are really trendy. So I picked it up. It also has two front pockets right here. It's a button down and all the buttons are intact and working. And also it is a wool blend. So I really like that it's a wool blend. It is 30% wool. Okay, and this is a size large, by the way. Let me show you again. There you go. So yeah, I really like that that's wool. So that's why I picked it up. Okay, so the next one is a rag and bone top. So that's how it looks. And I originally picked up this piece because I really like the perforated details on the sleeves. And I like the fact that this is, it has a scoop neck, so yeah. And it's really lightweight, it's really breathable. For example, if you're in a hot climate like I am, and that's what the tag looks like. And it's a size extra small, really cute little raglan tee. Raglan top tee, however you say that. Okay, so now this next piece is a Columbia men's sweater. And I love picking up Columbia pieces because it does really well for me if it's a unique piece or if it has like a special type of material to it. So this is the Columbia piece. It's long sleeve. It feels really, really soft. Um, I picked it up because of the color, because of how, it, how soft it felt and because it has the crew neckline as well. Um, which I know is well liked by many people, including myself. I love um, basically any neckline, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so it's a size medium and it is 6% wool and 24% cotton. So it's a wool cotton blend as well as some other fabrics. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the front and in the back, it is plain in the back. Okay. Oh, let me bring that a little closer because it also has this little like gradient detail to it. So I really love that as well. I love how different it looks. Okay. So now this next one is Guess by Marciano. So Guess by Marciano. I'm not sure, Marciano. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And I'm not sure why this, oh, oh, okay. There you go. Okay, so Guess by Marciano and it's a size small, if you could see there. Don't really want to show my nails too much because I need to get them done. <laughs> I need to get my nails done. So it's just a sheer, very, very lightweight brown embroidered top. I got it because there's so much, you so many unique detailing on it. I love unique details and I love embroidery. Anything that has embroidery, I'm definitely going to pick up especially if it's a good brand. If it's a good brand with embroidery, then I'll pick it up. Um, and then also it's a tunic. So tunics are really popular right now. 
And it also has like a little tie waist right here, which is really cute. And another thing that is, that was like my, I'm going to put it in the basket moment was the fact that it's a hundred percent silk. So that is definitely a reason to pick it up. Okay. Now this next top is Athleta. I really like Athleta. I think it's a great brand to pick up. The other, my last video, I have a um, screenshot in there of a sale I recently made of an Athleta leggings. And I actually sold it for 50. I got 40, but subtracting the cost of goods, I made like $38 profit on that Athleta legging. So definitely pick up Athleta if you see it. Okay. So now this one is... This one is... Yeah. Oh, I, d I just told you. So this one is an Athleta and it's a size extra small. It's like a basic short sleeve sweater top. And it has a pocket right here in the front, which is really neat. And it also has a cowl neckline to keep your neck warm if you're cold. But it's short sleeve just in case it's not that cold. And it's a really lightweight top. It's not as light as like a normal blouse, but it is like lightweight for a sweater top. So that's why I picked that up. That's what it looks like. Okay, so the next one is a Zadig. Zadig. Zadig and Voltaire top. Zedig and Voltaire. So Zedig and Voltaire is a good brand. That is why I picked this up. Even though it's a basic um burnout white top, I feel like it will do good because this is a really great sought after brand. It is in a size medium. It's in a size medium and it's just like a perfect little lightweight shirt if you're going like on vacation if you're going to vacation or if you just want to wear it underneath a jacket or just going out casual for a casual wear piece I think this will be great because it is a good brand and I love wearing like burnout material fabrics because it keeps you cool it keeps you cool and I don't know about you, but I tend to sweat a lot, especially when it's really hot. So I tend to like fabrics that keep me cool, like cotton. Okay, so this one is called Habitat and it's Habitat Clothes to Live In and it's a size small. I picked it up because I love the button detailing here. I love the prints on it. And it is um, a different type of fabric, if you could see. It's like a sear, a gentle sear sucker type of fabric. So I picked it up. It's a size small. This is what it looks like on the back. And it is a three quarter sleeve top. So I decided to pick it up. And it turns out that the brand does really well. So I'm excited for when it sells to see how much it will sell for it is up already in my poshmark store but i don't quite remember the price that i put it up for okay all right so everything i just showed you from this part of the haul was from one store so i'm finished with this part of the haul tell 10 pieces from one store and now i'm going to the other part of the haul where you'll see the other pieces that i got at the second place i thrifted at okay so this first piece is called maison jewels so it's Maison Jewels, it's a size medium. 
and it has stripes on top blue stripes on top and like pink stripes on the bottom and it's chiffon fabric so it's really lightweight i think this is a perfect dress for if you're going on vacation if you are going uh to a party a casual party or if you're going to a baby gender reveal and the reason why i think this would be a good gender reveal dress is because it has blue stripes on top pink on bottom so if you don't know what you're getting it's a, if you don't know what you're having this is a good dress because it has both the blue stripes on top and the pink stripes on the bottom it's also sleeveless if you live again in a hot area okay all right so this next piece is by banana republic and it is a size medium i picked this piece up because i love this style and i also noticed that it's 67 percent virgin wool so i said yeah definitely pick that up and this is what it looks like it's a very nice chic piece three quarter sleeve it has the peplum detail right here at the bottom it is button front as well and all the buttons are there in good condition and this is what the back looks like and like i mentioned before it is 67 percent virgin wool so i definitely went ahead and picked that off I think this will do really well, even though it is Banana Republic. I think it will do really well. Okay, and this next piece I got because I looked at the fabric content and then it turns out that it was 10% Angora, which is rabbit hair, and 10% wool so i picked it up because of the rabbit hair and because of the wool i love that it has um the little wrap right here so you could the little belt i mean so you could just tie that up it's short sleeve it has like a perforated chevron um background going down the whole the entire um part of it actually except for the sleeves are ribs excuse the little lint here okay so the sleeves are ribs and that's what it looks like and the brand is Amaliad, and it's a size medium and it turns out that this is actually an anthropology brand so i'm expecting this to do really well also okay this next piece is rebecca taylor and it's a size 12. it's a leaf print sleeveless leaf printed dress i picked it up because of the brand and because it has such a nice print so again you could wear this to the office or you could wear it if you have a zoom meeting or if you're a teacher you could wear this to work or wherever you work it would look really nice underneath a blazer or just by itself so yeah and that was a size 12. and then the next piece i got is actually this one that i'm wearing so this is an oleg cassini um dress it is a size small um, so it's a little short sleeve dress, scoop neckline, and it has the slits on the side. I wish you could see. Let's see if I move the camera down. So it has the slits on the side here. Um, yeah. Yes, okay, so, 
And it's also like a velvet fabric. It feels super soft. It's very slimming because I did gain a few pounds. You can see my little pouch right here. So it's very slimming. It feels really nice. Yeah. I really like this dress. So I do have it up for sale. If it doesn't sell for my asking for my full asking price, I will be keeping it because it looks so good. It has the slits on both sides. It's like it goes down to my a little above my ankles, but it's just a perfect lightweight dress and it's very elegant to wear to like a party or wherever or a dance or something very elegant so i really like this dress and again it is a leg cassini i'll attach the tag right here in the video that way you can see because since i'm wearing it you can't really see it so yeah and i'll also attach the full leg dress on this side so you can see it as well okay so for the next thing i got at my second location was these awesome purple suede purple suede via spiga heels via spiga is a great brand and look at the bottom it looks barely worn oh and actually i did clean off the bottom a little bit but they are in great condition. It is a size seven medium. So they're in great condition. And look at how vibrant the purple is. I loved that. And I love the fact that it has this little cage cutout detail on the side. And it is in perfect condition. And that is what it looks like inside. And it also has the zipper sides here as well. So had to pick these up and if these were my size I would not be listing it because I rarely see heels in such a great vibrant purple color and the fact that they're suede as well just gives it that extra oomph so yes if it was my size I'd definitely be keeping it no doubt about that okay all right so for this next thing i got at the store were these ray-ban sunglasses and i've been wanting ray-bans for the longest time i've looked everywhere and the price was just like too much i'm like I cannot get this brand new right now because I didn't have the money at that time. So I was I actually bought these for $25 at the second at my second location that I went to. However, with you know, with averaging out the average cost of goods for from two locations, it's actually um with this with these Ray-Bans added to the calculation of everything, it would have been $6.45 per item. But since I'm not selling this, I'm keeping it. I did not include that in the original calculation that I did in the beginning of the video. So, and let me, okay. So it came with this full case. It has the cleaning cloth inside. And then look at that Ray-Ban detail. Um, the Ray-Ban detail on the sides. And then let's see how it looks on with this dress. Oof. Okay, guys. So yeah so i found these and i said i am keeping it because it's ray-bans and it looks so so good 
this is how it looks on yeah so i love it a lot if you can't tell i'm really feeling myself right now <laughs> so yeah you can see my ring light in the video but yeah so this is what it looks like and with this dress this is like a whole outfit right here you could go to a great casual event oh if you had on some gloves, if I had on some gloves right now and a hat or something, maybe not even a hat, but a cute purse and some gloves and some good heels, this would be a great outfit. So yeah, I'm keeping this one, <laughs> keeping the Ray-Bans. That's what it looks like. And I keep it safe and tucked away. Okay, so the price for the Ray-Bans alone was $25. And that is such a steal um, compared to the regular price. The regular price is like $200. So $200. I can't do $200 right now. So, yes. I got it for 25 because it was at a thrift store and I'm so excited because I've always wanted Ray-Bans. God is so good. Um, okay, so for the last three items, so these are the items that were charged, that were sold separately, but I just bundled them into one because um, I'm going to sell it as one. So I bundled them together, of course. It's salt and pepper shakers, Christmas salt and pepper shakers. It has the stopper down there as well. So these are just really cute. That's why I got it. I'm trying to bring more of a variety of items into my store. I'm not only selling clothing or women's clothing. I sell women's clothing, men's clothing, kids clothing, shoes, um, and home goods as well. I'm hoping to start selling makeup as well so you can purchase. So we'll see about that. Um, so this is the next thing that I got and it is a Christmas mug. So that's what it is. It's a Christmas mug and it's so cute. It has the little cover, the hat cover as well. I think that should do i'm hoping to sell these get these moving out of my store before christmas if not then they'll just be there until next christmas which i wouldn't necessarily want but if it happens like that you know what happens like that okay so this is the next mug i think this is good for yeah, for a little nice wide Christmas mug. It has like a stocking right there on the front. So I think that's cute. All right, guys. So that's it for this haul. And stick around for my other hauls that I will be showing you soon. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel again. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I hope, and also be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle in the description box as well as all my stores. That way you could keep up with me and see what I'm flipping, how much I'm flipping it for, and see everything else that I'm doing as well. Thank you so much. Bye.